people. Okay, a few more people. And then we're going to start this. No, do not drive home after this. Okay, please do not do this meditation using heavy machinery. Okay. No heavy machinery. No, no picking up the hoover. No ironing. Okay, nothing like that. Okay, and definitely not driving. Okay. Uh, no hair dryers either. Okay, no curling tongs. Okay, and for those big butch men outside in this group, no weightlifting. Okay, no heavy machinery. Wow. There are some cheeky people in this group. This is good. I'm getting channeled by you guys. I was upstairs trying to make my wife laugh. I got nowhere. But down here, I do okay. Okay. <sighs> uh, what about juggling knives? Yeah, juggling knives is okay. Yeah, yeah, the more the merrier. Okay, juggling knives. Add a couple of saucepans. Yep. Okay, they're all good. Okay, chuck a cat in. All good. Just not heavy machinery. <laughs> right, let's do this. Right, this is a breath work. I just need to take a bit of breath myself. Here we go. Please follow this amazing demonstration by myself. Okay? Please follow this amazing demonstration first. Hopefully you've gone to the animation, but please watch this demonstration first. It is very simple. It is three large deep breaths in. Followed by three quick breaths. Followed by six large deep breaths in. Followed by six quick breaths. Followed by nine large deep breaths in. Followed by nine quick breaths. Wow, it works so good. On the last ninth quick breath, on the last ninth quick breath, you hold your breath for as long as possible. That's it. That's a Tesla breath. It is three large deep breaths. I'll talk you through it. Three short quick breaths or quick breaths, three large, six, uh, six quick, six large, six quick, nine large, nine quick, and you hold your breath. It has to hold your breath on the last night for as long as possible, okay? I will talk you through this beautiful breath work, okay? It's not a struggle. It's not a struggle. You're already breathing. You just don't know how to consciously breathe. That's the struggle. It's the program. It's a program. So, let's do this. Let's do this. We've got a 424 people around the world. This is going to be insane. But expect no expectations. Okay? No expectations how good this is going to be. For some of you, it's going to work. For some of you, if you've got resistance, it won't work as good. Okay? Let's go with that. So, if everybody can get into a nice position, either sitting, reclining, or lying down. Yeah, hold on, inhale, okay? I'll talk you through this, okay? And just allow whatever needs to happen, happen. That's it. Don't worry about anything. Your consciousness will work that out. Okay, beautiful. Okay, keep your eyes closed. And just follow this simple, gorgeous breath work. If you can take in three large, beautiful, deep breaths. No, we're not breathing for one hour. Three large, beautiful, deep breaths. Have to be large. Large as you can. Followed by three very quick breaths. Beautiful. Followed 
by six large deep breaths in. You do this at your own time. I'm just repeating the breath work. Followed by six large deep breaths in. Then followed by six quick breaths. All I'm doing right now is just guiding you into this breath work. Three large deep breaths, three quick breaths, six large deep breaths, six quick breaths. We're moving on to nine large deep breaths. Fill your lungs with everything that you have. You'll get the hang of this one. It's an easy breath work. It's in the title. And then once you've done nine large deep breaths, you do nine quick breaths. And then you hold your breath on the last ninth. You hold your breath for as long as possible. And when you can't hold your breath, release and let go. When you can't hold your breath any longer, release and let go. I'll repeat the breath work again. You start off with three large deep breaths in, followed by three quick breaths. Followed by six large deep breaths in. Followed by six quick breaths. Followed by nine large deep breaths in. Followed by nine quick breaths. And you hold your breath on the last ninth quick breath for as long as possible. That is one round. What some of you will notice straight away, your consciousness knows this breath work. So some of you are going to notice a lightness in the head, an energetic sensation in the middle of the chest, Probably pins and needles, sensations, tingles in the hands. This is all normal. This is all 100% complete normal. When you can't hold your breath in any longer, we do another round. If you want to do another round, do another round. If you're new to this meditation, I would only suggest either two or three rounds. People who have been with me for two years... They go up to about 12, 13, 14 rounds. But for anybody who's new to this meditation, to coherence healing, please only do two or three rounds. Once you've let go of the breath, you start again. You take in three large, beautiful, deep breaths in. Followed by three quick breaths. Followed by six large deep breaths in. Fill your lungs with everything that you have. Followed by six quick breaths. Doesn't matter, in through the mouth, in through the um, nose, it does not matter. You hold your breath on the exhalation. Okay, breathing out, then you hold your breath. 
followed by nine large deep breaths in. Nine large deep breaths in. Take your time, just make them large. Fill your lungs, expand your lungs. Followed by nine quick breaths. And you hold your breath on the last quick breath. You breathe out, hold your breath. And you hold your breath for as long as possible. Even if it's a little bit uncomfortable, hold your breath for as long as possible and then let go. Do not worry, your consciousness has your back. Got 428 backs here. Busy day. And when you can't breathe any longer, holding your breath, you release and you let go. And you can either stop or carry on. We'll do one more round. Ideally, two or three is a perfect number for a Tesla meditation. When you can't hold your breath any longer, relax, breathe out, and you start the round again. I'll explain it one more time. It is, you're breathing in three large, deep breaths. Followed by three quick breaths. <sighs> Followed by six large deep breaths in. <sighs> Followed by six quick breaths. <sighs> Followed by nine large deep breaths in followed by nine quick breaths and you hold your breath for as long as possible on the last ninth quick breath you hold your breath on the last night quick breath. It is a Tesla three, six, nine breath work. Do the best you can. Okay, do the best you can because this gets easier. If you struggle with the breath work, do the best you can. And then all you have to do is just sit and B. And I can tell you right now, a lot of people are lightheaded. Lots of energy in the heart chakra. Lots of tingles. This is all normal. This is good. This is really good. If you yawn, all good. Keep your eyes closed. Otherwise, you have to get into a present state. Present state is where the magic happens. Allow your body to get into a present state. Activate the crown chakra to a vibration of 148,692. Moving in a beautiful clockwise circular motion. If you want to do more than three breaths, if you want to do more than four, five rounds, please do so. Keep your eyes closed and allow yourself to be present. Activate the frontal lobe left and right, the corpus callosum left and right, the parietal lobe left and right, occipital lobe left and right, the temporal lobe left and right, the pre-post-central gyrus left and right. 
the lateral sulcus left and right. The body crust and colon of fornix left and right. Bring the brainwave state down to a delta. Rebalance cerebellum. Rebalance pons and the medulla. Activate the third eye to a vibration of 115,000. The throat chakra to a vibration of 222,000. The heart chakra to a vibration of 300,000. The solar plexus to a vibration of 400,000. The sacral to a vibration of 200,000. And the root to a vibration of 300,000. Hey Nikolai, how are you? I'm really good, thank you very much. Nikolai, how do we do this beautiful meditation? Activate the Earth Star Chakra. This energy center is 12 inches below your feet to a vibration of 448,692. Thank you. Activate the eighth energy center known as time and space to a vibration of 828,415 and a frequency of 229,996. Thank you. Activate the blueprint of consciousness, the ninth energy center, to a vibration of 1.624897 million. Activate the third eye, the sixth energy center, to a vibration of 3.648197 and a frequency of 5.697482. Activate the throat chakra to a vibration of 16.648197 million. Activate the heart chakra to a vibration of 422,698 and a frequency of 3.264198.
moving in a beautiful clockwise circular motion. Hey Nikolai, can you place a beautiful diamond in the heart chakra please? And can you spin the diamond clockwise? Thank you. Activate the solar plexus to a vibration of 362,798. Activate the sacral to a vibration of 1.264897 million. Thank you. If the mind is busy and a little bit chattery, you place your awareness and attention located in the middle of the chest where the heart center resides. So if your mind is chattering a little bit busy, place your awareness and attention and breathe in for four seconds and out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds and out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds and out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds and out for four seconds. Activate the, sa um, the sacral and the root at a vibration of 992,415. Activate the ninth energy center. I know this as the blueprint of consciousness to a vibration of 1.264897 million. Increase the vibration of the crown chakra to 3.648297 million. The third eye activating the pineal gland left and right and the pineal recess, the pituitary and the hypothalamus to a vibration of 6.218464, moving in a beautiful clockwise circular motion. Hey, Nikolai, can you place a beautiful small diamond in everybody's third eye and spin the diamond, please? Thank you. Can you place another diamond in everyone's throat and spin that diamond, please, clockwise? Thank you. Spin the heart one again. Place another diamond in the solar plexus, please, and spin that one. One in the sacral, please, and spin that one. One in the root, and spin that one. And one in the earth star chakra, and spin that one, please. Thank you. Place everybody's consciousness and physical body inside a diamond, please, Nikolai. And spin that diamond as well. Increase the vibration of the heart chakra. 24.2.
increase the frequency of the heart chakra to tune into a vibration, information, energy of unconditional love for self. Hey Shiva, how are you? Shiva, can you place your cloak of silence over everybody's head please and start slowly bringing down the volume? Bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down. Increase the vibration of the throat chakra to 6.248197 million. The solar plexus to a vibration of 18.649988 million. The sacral to a vibration of 21.264648 million. The root chakra to a vibration of 7.246489. Nikolai, can you spin the diamond even faster? Thank you. Increase the vibration of the crown chakra to 29.648218 million. Expanding upwards and outwards. Bringing in insight, wisdom, truth and knowledge. Keep spinning that crown chakra, please, Nikolai. Allow their consciousness to experience what they need to experience. Show them what they need to be shown. Increase the vibration of time and space to 46.248969 million. Letting go of time and space and allowing yourself just to sit and be. Thank you. Increase the vibration of the heart chakra to 69.248196. Nikolai, can you place a second diamond in the heart, please? And spin that smaller diamond even faster. Allow the glint, the shine, the sparkles to start penetrating what needs to be penetrated. And if your mind is busy and a little bit chattery, place your awareness and attention to the heart center, right next to the physical heart, the fourth energy center, the heart chakra, and you breathe in for four seconds and out for four seconds. In for four seconds. Out for four seconds. If the mind is busy and a little bit chatty, bring your awareness and tension to the heart center and you take in and breathe for four seconds and out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds And out for four seconds. Activate the energy field known as your torus that surrounds your body to a vibration of 115,698 and a frequency of 36.248197 million. And Nikolai, can you spin that one as well, please? Increase the vibration of the crown chakra to 72.648197 million. Spin 
Spin the heart chakra again, please, Nikolai. Both of them, please, at the same time. The throat one, spin the diamond in the throat. Spin the diamond in the third eye. In the solar plexus, in the sacral, in the root, and in the earth star chakra. Increase the vibration of the blueprint of consciousness. 99.648218 million. Moving in a beautiful clockwise circular motion. Allowing your consciousness to connect. And Shiva, can you bring the volume down, please? Creating silence in the mind. And allowing to be in a beautiful state, state of deep consciousness. The heart feels like it's going to jump out. All we're doing is opening up the heart. Okay, it's all good. Your consciousness knows exactly what to do. Just allow it to happen. Spin the heart diamonds even faster, please, Nikolai. Spin the crown diamond faster. Remove all blocks in the crown chakra, the throat chakra, and the heart chakra regarding the belief. That this does not work. And allow that to dissipate like clouds in the sky. Increase the vibration of the third eye to 38.648197 million and a frequency of 44.248696 million. Moving in a beautiful clockwise circular motion. And if the mind is busy and a little bit chattery, you bring your awareness and tension down to the heart chakra. And you breathe in for four seconds. And then out for four seconds. You breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. You breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. Hey, Nikolai, can you change the frequency of the crown chakra to a frequency of information? 122.648197. Can you change the frequency of the throat chakra, please? 122.364 million. Can you change the frequency of the heart, please? 148.269464 million. Change the frequency of the solar plexus, please. To a frequency of letting go of anxiety, stress, and worry. Having the knowing that you're on the right path. Change the frequency of the sacral to a frequency of having a more of an intimate connection with self. The acceptance of I. One with yourself. Change the frequency of the root chakra, please. To 215.648197. Letting go of the past. And allowing yourself to be present right now. 
Hey, Nikolai, can you spin all the diamonds faster, please? And also the diamond that covers everybody's body and spin that one faster, please. Can you create a wave sensation from the crown to the heart and the heart all the way back, please? Like in a cam belt motion, up and down. Create a second cam belt motion from the heart to the root, please. Can you create a diamond in the left hand and the right hand, please, Nikolai? And spin those diamonds to let go of control. The belief that you're not good enough, don't do enough, and not worthy. Can you spin the two heart diamonds a little bit faster to clear out the belief that you're not lovable? The belief that nobody wants to be with you. Who wants to love me? Not true, not true, not true. Spin that diamond even faster, please, Nikolai. Thank you. Increase the vibration of the blueprint of consciousness. 148.649621 million. And allow that vibration to expand beyond what you know. Allow that vibration, frequency, information, energy to connect to what you do not know. Spin the diamond in the third eye, please, again, Nikolai, to a vibration of 148.648197 million. Allowing you, see, allowing you to see the truth, the truth in you and the truth in this world with precision and clarity. A world behind a world. If your mind is busy and a little bit chattery, bring your awareness and attention to the middle of the chest. And you breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. Hey, Nikolai, can you do me a favor? Can you touch everybody's feet and place a little diamond on everybody's feet 
and spin that diamond to a frequency of 892,415. Allowing them to be grounded, straight and true. Increase the vibration of the heart chakra. 186.248197 million. Create another diamond outside the body. And allow that diamond to lift people's consciousness from their body so they feel light. And spin that diamond again, 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 and again. Thank you. All you need to do is just sit and be and allow this to happen. Hey Shiva, can you turn the volume down? Turn the volume down, turn the volume down, turn the volume down. Create a beautiful third diamond outside everybody's body and make that diamond out of rose quartz and spin that diamond anti-clockwise, please. Allow that beautiful vibration of rose quartz to start healing your body. Create a fourth diamond held in the root chakra. This one's made out of obsidian. Clearing out the past. Increase the vibration of time and space to 164.248197 million. your consciousness to take you into a deep state filled all the diamonds full of white light an expansion of you an expansion of love and consciousness and make all of those diamonds bright Hey Nikolai, can you move all emotions held in the spine and adjust the spine to the correct vibration and frequency? Remove all emotions held in the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the left clavicle and the right clavicle and readjust to the correct vibration and frequency. Spin the heart diamonds even faster, please. Increase the vibration of the third eye to 168.297484 and a frequency of 184.296481. Seeing the world as truth, seeing your own, own reflection as truth.
allow yourself just to sit and be. Allow yourself to feel truth. Increase the frequency of time and space to 215.648197 million. Increase the frequency of the blueprint of consciousness to 222.648197 million. Tune into the correct information and frequency held in the throat. Creativity and speaking my truth. Letting go of judgment held in the throat. And if the mind is busy and a little bit chattery, you bring your awareness and tension to the middle of the chest and you breathe in for four seconds. And out for four seconds. You breathe in for four seconds. and out for four seconds. You breathe in for four seconds, and out for four seconds. Allow your consciousness to do all the work for you. All you have to do is just sit and be. Hey Shiva, can you turn the volume down even more? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey beautiful sun, can you bring a vibration of information, warmth and knowing into everybody? Listen to this beautiful meditation. Hey beautiful moon, can you bring information into everybody regarding this meditation? Hey Nikolai, can you spin all the diamonds again, 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 thank you. If you feel like you're swaying, that's okay. If you feel like you're swaying to the left and the right, that is okay. If you feel energy through your body, that is okay. If you fall asleep, that is okay.
Hey, Nikolai, can you increase the energy of the blueprint of consciousness to what they feel? Can you increase the energy of time and space to what they can feel? Increase the energy in the crown chakra to what they can feel. Increase the energy in the third eye to what they can feel. Increase the energy in the throat chakra to what they can feel. Increase the energy in the heart chakra to what they can feel. Increase the energy in the solar plexus to what they can feel. Increase the energy into the sacral to what they can feel. Increase the energy into the root and the, and the earth star chakra to what they can feel. Create a beautiful light from the blueprint of consciousness, information into the crown, into time and space, into the third eye, into the heart, into the throat, into the solar, into the sacral, into the root, and into the earth star chakra. And Nikolai, can you spin that light as well, please? So all the energy centers are aligning with the beautiful light and all the diamonds are aligning to the beautiful light. Thank you. Bring coherence, harmony and balance throughout the body. And Nikolai, can you stop the diamonds please from spinning? And allow yourself just to sit and be. And this beautiful session is now complete. Please take your time. Please, please, please take your time. Have a good stretch, a good twist. I'll only be talking about this meditation and this meditation experience alone, okay? Only this experience alone. One hour goes quick. I have to say, one hour goes quick. Right, let's do this. Uh, yes, Sean. Wow. <laughs> it was amazing. My goodness. Oh my God. So all of the energies, um, I was able to use that, the four breath in and out to bring me back into my heart. If I heard the chatter and what's been happening is that that chatter, I've been making the distinction between it and me. And even since last time we talked, you know, you gave me such a 
like a like I gave myself a talking to, like who I am. I am me now. And um that that I'm in control of my life. And I always thought that everything outside me was was I was at mercy to. Um and I can say stop anytime. Like, no, I disagree what you said that your wife said. I and consciously disagree. Consciously disagree. And um, even when like I didn't really like what you said yesterday, but what I found, <laughs> what I really found was that that was me talking to me saying, stop it, stop it, stop the nonsense. You've got this, you know. <laughs> so I I am uh you know and then I practiced the six the the three six nine this morning just the breath and um you know I think it's cohesion what you're talking is it cohesion cohesion so it's cohesion what you're talking about throughout the system and I'm my mind can chatter all at once but I know the difference between it and me. And it, it's brought me such clarity. I'm, I have deep gratitude for everyone here. I believe that that number, that 3,000, whatever it is, I don't know, 300,000, there's a big number that you said, but it's a small number compared to the population. We're gonna reach it. We're really gonna reach it because I saw the possibility of us being in our hearts, like really living from our hearts at all times and just bringing ourselves back at any given second, you know, so that we can um, live from our heart, live from our heart, live from our heart. It's just a shift. It's just a shift. It's not a big shift. It's a small shift. <laughs> it's so tiny. Sean, it is so tiny, but we make it so big. Yeah. It is such a tiny shift. It's like, ready for this? I have to be kind to myself. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it. too big. That's actually too big. I don't want to be kind. What I want to do is I'm going to wake up and be a fucking shit to myself all day because that's what I've always been doing. Right. But the shift is I'm not going to do that. What? It can't be that simple. It is <laughs> that simple. Yeah. And do you know what it is, Sean? There is yes. so much information out there that tells you it can't be that simple, yes. and yet it is. Yes. So that anything's possible, this idea that you, you know, you just said, look, it's not your one purpose. It's many possibilities, mm -hmm. and it's fun, and it's whatever gives you joy in that moment. Yeah. You could change it. <laughs> I know. I know it's so like it's so if you're present that's what it is if yeah. you're present this yeah. world will just open up to unlimited possibilities that you can't even fathom because we're yeah. never there we're always to the right always to mm. the left mm. we're never here this is why you know mm. this is why this meditation is so unique holy mm. shit it's a powerful meditation it's it's striking. It's insane. It's insane because I'll tell you there was a thing, another thing that you said uh, in one of the taped meditations I listened to. I think it was the thirty minute one. And um, oh no, it was your talk with with yesterday that you you posted uh, um, with the fellow oh, with James with James. With James. Yeah, that's because right. All you got to do is look up. Just look up, and because if you look up, you might you're you're probably going to tell the truth to yourself, and and that keeps you honest. It just keeps you here. And when I did this meditation, my head sunk lower, 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 deep to my chest, like I couldn't go further. And I said, "Oh my God, I'm stretching something way back in my neck." And I'd forgotten what that 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 thing you said about pulling your head up, and then. Just as you said something about Tesla, can you please let them feel this now in the where they are at? I said, oh, lift your head up, lift your head up, lift your head up, lift your head up. 
Oh, and I did. And I said, oh, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> he's talking about lifting your head up because if you lift your head down or you go to the, I think it's the left, you go to depression or, and if you go to the right, you go to anxiety. Um, anxiety. So you have a choice. Look up, look up. See, here's the beautiful thing, Sean. This is the amazing thing. This is why I encourage you guys to read one out. Oh my God, he's going to go yeah. on about that again. No, this is the reason. That's it. it didn't matter how I got there. It didn't matter how many people treated me with disrespect, how many times I got raped and abused. In that one single moment, I had a choice to make. And I looked up, I saw my wife in pain. I changed my mind. And here we are. Yeah. It is this simple. But the mind says it can't be that simple. Right. Bloody well can be that simple. Yeah. And you know what, Sean? We tip the world back into balance. We do it. This is the start of the process. Yeah. And once you realize that you are part of that process, the blueprint of consciousness, everything just falls away. Everything yeah. that you believe to be you disappears. Yeah. What a good one to start off with. What a good one to start off with. And uh, let's go with Karen, New Zealand. Yes, gorgeous. Thank you, Sean. That's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Good morning. Good morning, Karen. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling on me. Um, <clears throat> that was the deepest I've gone into meditation and the most oneness I've experienced in absolutely ages. So thank you so much. As soon as you said um, drop into Delta, I just went and um, yeah, it was just the most beautiful instruction. <laughs> my body just paid attention. Um, and at one point my legs felt like just pure energy and they were sort of moving down almost like they were moving away from the rest of me for a while. I'm not sure what that was, but that was very visceral. Um, and yes, to just be in that much st uh, stillness. I mean, my mind is still moving around a little bit, but that much stillness was um, amazing. And for that long, yes, so Incredible. thank you. So much. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Um, I, yeah, and I, what I was also doing was, um, as well as letting everything release that needs to release, also um, sort of bringing in some affirmations of what I want to lock in while I'm in that state. Um, yeah, because it's not easy for me to let all the goodness in. I have resistances around that. Or did. Amazing. amazing, amazing, amazing. That's a good one. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Um, you. You're welcome, gorgeous. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Michelle J. Yes, sweetheart. Thanks, Cornelius. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can. Good. Yeah. yeah no, that was. Um, I'm also in New Zealand. I'm in Auckland. So. Oh. Um, Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, we're we're um, connecting this morning. All the Kiwis, um, right? Yeah, I, that was absolutely amazing because I'm we're in the middle of winter here, and uh, I was sitting in a really cold room. You got started, and I thought, oh no, I haven't put on the heater. I didn't need to. <laughs> My whole body, you know, right from the head down, just really just warmed up, and I'm that's quite unusual for me. Um, but what, what really struck me, because often I get um, on my right-hand side, I'll sort of get like downloads and I can feel that, like, you know, after sleeping and everything. Mm -hmm. And I sort of expected that to happen and, and you get a little bit of pain with it. But it was on the ref, left side today. And I had shooting pain sort of going up. So it was like a channel. I could sort of visualise it going up sort of from my mouth to my temple so to speak and then that passed then it went into the pe pineal gland and I you said to imagine and I could 
that was really very um yeah very clear that it was expanding and I thought oh it's going to crack open you know they say that it's calcified and everything but it didn't it softened but it expanded so that was that one then it went into I uh, my eye started to on the it was, this was on the left hand side started to close up as though it was swollen and I could really feel that the mo that I was sort of closing it physically no idea what that was about and then it then it started to soften and I could I guess it it would be something like if I'm oh, sorry I've got the catch that's why I'm with no, you no, you, no, you no. talked about your cat talk with you <laughs> mind um yeah I have no idea there was a really um uh a very like a lump in my throat and that sort of shot up. That was that sort of to do with that um, that vein coming up. Um, yeah, and I visualized my husband that came in <laughs> laughing. So go figure. <laughs> it was really, really like I was just like, yes, not laughing, but smiling. You know, it was sort of just that energy. Um, so I'm not sure what it all means, but let's hope it unblocked a lot of things because that's why I'm here. I feel that I've got so many blockages that need to, um, I need really conscious meditation to remove them. Um, and that's it. So wonderful. An hour went very quickly. Isn't that amazing, Michelle? Isn't that amazing? Just after like one session, like doing a Tesla, this all this information comes through. It's incredible. I love Tesla meditations. I don't know which meditations are my favorite. I really, really don't. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, Amy, Amy Yockel, yes again. I think it was you yesterday, but we'll do it then. It came through. Okay, am I on? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if you could hear me. Um, I just want to say I'm so grateful. So yesterday I was at the call in the very end and I was just a mess. <laughs> I was a hot mess yesterday. <laughs> but this one, you worked on my lungs. I had no idea I had any lung stuff. I could do that breath probably another 15 times. Like I've been doing the recorded ones and um, only two or three rounds because I get really dizzy and I'm like, oh, I know that's normal, but it doesn't feel very good. Whoa, today I could like all the energy was moving through my body. I could feel the tingles and the energy up to my head. And I'm just like, Woo! <laughs> it's amazing. I've done a ton of breath work before. Like Wim Hof, Dr. Joe Dispenza, different kinds. But this one, you guys, this one is fucking awesome. Like, I love it. I do a lot of the pre-recorded ones too. They're so good. So I was gone. I don't know where I went. <laughs> I see, that's the whole, that. see, this is the whole beauty of it, Amy, <clears throat> is all of this, all this work is from consciousness. That's why it's so powerful. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, Wim Hof's is good. I mean, Wim Hof breath is really good. It's powerful. Oh, they're great, but this is but better. This one comes from like the greatest <laughs> source possible. It's there to get yeah. you into a very deep state of consciousness quickly, so you can yeah. heal at the quickest level and at the deepest level. This isn't like this isn't about drawing out twenty years. This is like get in, get out, mm -hmm. live your life. Yeah. Like as Sean was Sean this morning was saying. You just got it. It's all clicked into place. Holy shit. We have a yeah, choice. So good. Do you know what I mean? Because the choice is very simple. We all live in a, it's called a quantum superposition. Again, it's in my book, but you have to understand how this works. So every single day we wake up, we're in the process of living. Guess what? We're also in the process of dying at the exact same time. It's whether you choose to live in a vibration that comes from the heart, which means everything is available to you, or you choose to live in a vibration which is ending the process, which is in a vibration of low. Mm -hmm. See, I've always lived in the end of the process, low vibrations. It's coming to the end. Oh, mm -hmm. my God, it's, I'm going to be 40 years old, 42 years old, 45 years old, 50 years old. But now I've realized I have a choice. I can live this life with such beautiful way of looking at it. And I choose to live my life in a process of high. 
Yeah. Everything I have in my world is gratitude built. Everything is gratitude built. Like when Tesla, like I, I spoke to Tesla, right? I spoke to Einstein first. He was one of the first people, you guys know this. He was one of the first people who explained quantum physics to me. And then my wife, if you've read the book, she says, you know, what's free energy? I got told to speak to a guy called um, Tesla. He told me off and said, you can call me Nikolai, right? That's how he is. He's quite straight down the middle. And then I said to Nikolai, why are you in my life? And he says, holy Moses, check this out, Cornelius. So me and my wife did this breath work and holy shit was on different planets. We were somewhere else after one round. And I said to him, what is this called? And he calls, well, let's call it what you want to call it. And I was like, huh, I don't really understand that. He says, well, you've already called it. And I went, oh, my God, it's called the Tesla breath. Just like that. It was already here. I was just shown how to access it, which is, again, what Sean and everyone's saying is this information is here. It's whether you're present enough to look up. Mm -hmm. Always look up. Yeah, I just I woke up this morning. This. I, I woke up this morning in just this beautiful state of peace and gratitude and comfort. And it totally I won't go into the story, but lots of things that happened this morning could have been really stressful, but I just took it all with great eight grace. And I'm just like, oh, okay, thank you. You know, dealing with customer service and difficult people. And I'm like, thank you, you know, thank you for you know, and they were totally blown, like pretty much blown away because they normally I would be mad or something. And they're like, no, I was telling them, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And I really appreciate you helping me and just had to do with my washing machine not being delivered today. <laughs> but I basically was like, you know, I, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. And I, I trust that it's all going to work out. You know, whereas before I'd be like, thank you. I was about to say exactly the same. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's you guys. I'm not even sure Amy is yesterday's Amy. I think Amy, I you're a different <laughs> Amy. It's almost like there's something completely just clicked into place and realized actually this Amy today has always been there. Yeah, I just lost her for a little bit. She's back. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> You're back. Is that I'm cool? back. It's so great. Amazing. I'm amazing, so happy. Amazing, Thank amazing, you. Amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, yes, Christian. Yes. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, perfect. Awesome. So it was an amazing meditation. Thank you very much. At the end, I saw like a Native American Indian kind of spirit guide looking up. Uh, long back here and I just wanted to know who that was if that was kind of my higher self or extra family or whatever that was I'm curious um, hey Christian how are you hey family how are you who was that that was tenderfoot tenderfoot yeah that's tenderfoot so what tenderfoot show me tenderfoot what you do Honestly, I can't even believe I do this shit. So Tenderfoot is somebody who walks the plains. Again, Hopi Native American. He walks the plains with softly spoken feet. He's always on the lookout for like game. He's always on the lookout to feed family. So this is about family. This is about feeding yourself. So when he's looking up, he's being still like a bloody meerkat. And then what he's doing He's moving through. He's like moving through the land. But he's moving through the land at his pace. So this is a guy that's saying to you, Christian, slow down. You don't need to go from A to B as quick as you need to. Just slow down. Look up. Oh, my God. It's no different to what Sean is saying. And realize everything that you have is already here. His name is Tenderfoot. Tenderfoot. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Cornelius. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Um, I had an amazing experience of, um, at one point, feeling like a split in myself, where there was a part of me that wanted to hang on to just the density of 3D life, of just kind of hold my mind holding on to whatever problems sort of looping um and there was another part of me that you know i've been spending a lot more time in which is the i would just you know obviously infinite self um 
freedom. It's just a state of absolute freedom. They're just, there aren't thoughts about things. There's just being, and it's this beautiful state. And it feels almost like I'm realizing that in this meditation in particular, I realized that problems will never end because you'll never solve them. There'll never be an end to solving problems. That's a trap. And I started to see that more clearly tonight. And it was like, how do you want to spend your life was the question because you can actually, I can actually choose to be free. Yeah. It's an option. Remember, remember this is an option, right? This is it. This is the choice. Remember page 10 of one of it's the most important page of one. Oh, I ignored my inner voice for the first time in my life. And I chose a different option. Mm. I didn't even thought I had a choice. My inner voice was so damaging. I didn't even think I could actually stop listening to that. And I chose a different option. And guess what? Holy shit. I chose well. I went to Vegas and won everything. I won my life back. And yeah. this is what these, this is what, this is coherent healing and these, all these different techniques is to get your life back. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't have to be a prisoner or a slave to this anymore. You can actually look at it and go, wait, I consciously disagree. I'm amazing. I'm not shit. I choose to live this way anymore. This is the one I live on. That's it. Consciously disagreeing with it. And then there's this kind of thing with the emotional body where you kind of have to I think with the heart, what I'm learning is how to find or be curious about that place within me that's strong enough to hold pain or whatever's going on without fear. So that when you're holding that, it just dissipates, you know, like clouds okay. in the sky because you're not resisting it, but you're also not agreeing with it. Does that make sense? Correct. There's a beautiful, there's a beautiful, I did an amazing session, an amazing session. If you haven't gone onto my YouTube channel, you should check out the one. Um, it's cool. It's one with uh, unshackling and letting go with Elan. It's a beautiful session because that man, he just let go of pain of love because you, you've hit the nail on the head. The problem that what happens is when somebody isn't kind to us or we have emotions of traumas, what we do is we just push it to one side. Okay. Because we've got to get on with life. But if you deal with it right there and then, and this is where my wife, my wife, honestly, if you haven't booked chit chat with D, you're going to miss out. I'm telling you right now, my wife, we both had, we, we both had, um, uh, a miscarriage in January this year. And I carried on doing coherent healing. Nobody knew the pain and suffering I was going through, but my wife was grateful because she learned that she dealt with that grief there and then and then let it go so it never held her back it never held her back she dealt with it she went oh my god i'm so grateful that i've got all these tools because if i didn't have these tools i don't know how i would let this go this is why i mean my wife had an awakening of the heart it is the most powerful, it's, it is an unbelievable heart because she's trying to show you, it's a bit like Sean, it's a bit like what we're doing in this group, this shit in your mind is redundant, old, corrupt, yes. out of date. This one gets refreshed, updated, every single time you do some kindness to yourself or to this world. It gets refreshed, which means you can't help feel good. And then once you feel good, guess what? I want to feel some more good, but it doesn't come from this one. Wants, needs, and desires. This one just gives it away. It just gives it away. That's the realization. That's what you're happening right now. You have a choice. And that's really what consciousness is saying through all the information that comes through me. Read a fucking book that is channeled and it will change your life because every one of those choices I had, I had a choice, but I couldn't see it. Look up and you can change the choices of your life.
instantly. Mm-hmm. Instantly. Yes. That's it. That's it, Cornelius. It is. And I think there's just a point when you stop trying to manipulate and strategize with the outer world and you just go, no, it's, I'm choosing, I'm choosing freedom for myself. And it's right. not about what anyone else does Correct. and thinks or anything. And um, that's, that's really liberating. I, I just, I'm so thankful. I want to just thank you so much. And tonight is Chris's birthday. So <laughs> this was so great. <laughs> yeah. So wonderful. That works out. Have this experience. Um, we're just so grateful. Thank you so much for all that you do and for being, you know, you're just, you, your joy is just infectious. It's just, I love your, your sense of humor and your laughter. It's just so much. We so look forward to all this time and all you beautiful people. Thank you so much. Love you're you. Welcome. Great. Yeah, you're great. welcome. Amazing. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is the, this is why this group is amazing. This is why we keep encouraging people to come because everyone's going to benefit some way in this world. Someone in this group is going to benefit, not just from what I do, but for what you offer in what you say. I mean, this meditation was amazing, but I have to say the power is the shares. The power is the shares of these experiences. Yes, we can fix you. We can fix the shoulder, right? If your shoulder dropped off onto the floor, we can fix that, get a surgeon in. But what we can't fix is the way you talk to yourself, the way you see yourself in a normal way. And that's where everybody else offers a different perspective because everybody is you and you've gone through the same perspective. I mean, you saw Amy yesterday, right? We saw Amy yesterday. Amy is a completely different person. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure it's the same Amy. I might ask consciousness later, right? But it's that's that's it's same with Sean yesterday. Sometimes you might not like what comes through. The ego's going, I don't like that, don't like that. Arr, you know? But actually when you realize it, holy shit, it was profound information. Once you look at it from what it is, you can't hold me accountable because, you know, I'm like a um, I'm like a cupcake, right? And no one chucks away a cupcake, right? And just like a little cupcake, right? You can't get angry with a cupcake. So you've got to get angry with yourself. You're only getting angry with yourself. That's the transformation. You're doing it right now. Amazing, 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 amazing.